Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Guillermo del Toro, man. Seriously, this guy has been dealing up creature features of all shapes and sizes for years. And he just keeps on surprising us. His best film until now, in my opinion, was 2006's Pan's Labyrinth. But I must say now that, uh, yeah. I think that The Shape of Water may be his masterpiece. It's definitely his most confident work, consistent in tone, beautifully paced, and impeccably stylish. From its production design, which gets every detail right, to the cinematography, which the camera is constantly, but only slightly, moving, just sort of gliding through each scene to give you a sense of drifting through the narrative, to Alexandre Desplat's swooning romantic score, this film is a completely immersive, deeply moving experience, and it is ultimately classic Hollywood magic and classic Guillermo del Toro. To summarize, The Shape of Water takes place sometime in the Cold War, in and around the activities of a secret government research facility, and it is seen through the very expressive eyes of Sally Hawkins' character, an isolated, mute woman who works there. Though she is lonely, she does have her friends, one a lovelorn gay artist neighbor, played by Richard Jenkins, and another a co-worker, played by Octavia Spencer both of whom have seemingly learned sign language in order to communicate with her, although the movie does provide us with some very helpful subtitles at times. One day, the research facility receives delivery of a top-secret asset, a sort of a, a merman, I guess? He looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, is played by frequent Del Toro collaborator Doug Jones, and he may or may not be a little bit supernatural. I'll just leave it at that. The creature is studied by scientists, led by a sensitive Michael Stuhlbarg, but the project is overseen by the cruel, frightening, and really quite unhinged government official played by Michael Shannon. One day, Hawkins' character ends up cleaning the lab and befriends the creature, which leads to a startling and very ultimately poignant love story between the two. Now, without getting into spoilers, I will say that the story only escalates from there to dizzying heights and including flights of fancy that are charmingly bizarre and more than a couple of developments that are weird to the point of straining credulity, but that are exhilarating enough and romantic enough to sweep you away. Nonetheless, some may reject these turns, but honestly, I say, what else could you expect from a movie from Guillermo del Toro which centers around a merman, for crying out loud? It's best just to let go and get swept along with this film and its odd internal logic because you're in the hands of a master storyteller and you will love where you end up. Now, what intrigues me the most about The Shape of Water is the fact that it really seems to be about the relationship between good people and monsters. Throughout the film, we have several characters that are easy to identify as good people. Richard Jenkins' character, Michael Stuhlbarg's character, Octavia Spencer's character, all of them having one encounter where they realize suddenly that someone they liked or trusted or simply knew in passing is revealed to be unequivocally monstrous. And the way that they each deal with that is actually pretty fascinating, especially when the central plot line involving Sally Hawkins' character has to do with a person seeing past the outward monstrous qualities of this creature to see, well, basically, the opposite. I absolutely adored The Shape of Water, and I award it an extra large bag of popcorn. This is an extraordinarily well-crafted film, sumptuous in its detail, and absolutely hypnotic in its ability to draw you in, seduce you with its wonder, and leave you with a waterlogged heart by the time it reaches its graceful conclusion. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more and support us. Please, by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon on this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts on The Shape of Water as long as they're spoiler free, so go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. Let's hear it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And we be off the edge of the map now. Here there be monsters.